Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It's your girl Lost with Lisa. Before I get into the story time, make sure you subscribe, comment, thumbs up, and then hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post. Y'all, I'm chilling. It's nighttime. I just took my bag, so I'm in my little night gear, um, chilling. But this, I just realized, like, it's been a long, long time since I told a, a story time. So I'm just, I just, like, I just might as well tell the story time. I think it's kind of interesting. I went to jail, and I got jumped for the first time. So I think it's a little interesting. The reason, well, um, at high, I think from high school, and I think I may have had, like, maybe four one-on-one -on -one fights. And the rest, I was, we, me and my friends, like, if one swing, we all finna crack your ass. Like, you, you just finna get jumped. Like, it was, like... It was just, that's what come with fighting one of my friends. Like, when I was in high school. Like, if one swing, we all just finna jump you. Like, from middle school to high school, it's just like, if one swing, you're finna get jumped. Like, just know that. So, I knew. I knew my time of getting jumped was coming. I just did not expect this night to be my time. I, I didn't know actually when to expect to get jumped, but I knew it was coming. But it just so happened to be this night. I got jumped. Um, But I did get my one-on-one. -on -one. But we'll get to that during the story. So, this is, I went to jail, and I found out Niche had hands. <laughs> Why I just do that? <laughs> okay, but, um, yeah, so let me just hurry up and give y'all a brief about this story. So, uh, we was out, this is prior to the night that I had went to jail. This was like a year or so or before I had went to jail behind fighting this girl. Um, I had seen her in this public area, like, me and my friends and the girl I was dating at this time and my, um, cousins all of us we just up there all her friends we was all just up there chilling at the spot like just chilling this is like a little philly state joint so we all just up there chilling or whatever so that should let y'all know we in the hood what kind of place we at if we just all up there just chilling and we was at like you know a real ghetto ass place and it was a lot of ghetto ass shit that went on up there um so the dude that was there he ended up being he did a lot of stuff out of there so um i'm sitting in the car it's me, my cousin, the girl I was dating, and my other cousin went in to actually order some food. She go in, and she come back out running like, bitch, someone, someone. And I'm like, bitch, you lash. Like, I swear to God, someone, someone now. Y'all, let me just tell y'all disclosure. Uh, I burnt my forehead, like, from rubbing my hat at work against my forehead, and then I'm breaking out because I've been eating really bad as fuck. Just excuse all that. But anyway, um, yeah, she come out there running like so and so. I'm like, bitch, you lying. She's like, no, nah, I did that, so and so I know. So we I get out the car like, bitch, you lying. So I go in there and I'm look like where she at. Cause I'm used to her being skinny. Cause me and her used to be friends back in the day. We actually jumped somebody together. Um, so I was kinda expecting this like not skinny, but I didn't remember her. She 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 gained a lot of weight. Let me just say that. She gained a lot of weight. She she was skinny when we was friends and she got thick when we was like associates and then she was just big as fuck this day. Um well what I remember her being, she was just big as fuck. And um I went there like come outside. She was like, I'm not fighting in front of my child. Bitch, well, leave your child in here. Come on, let's come outside. And the dude who was there doing all the ghetto stuff, like, no, nah, y'all not fighting in here, y'all not gonna make it hot. Off the bam, and in my mind it was like he was hauling me, but at the same time I wasn't thinking about him hauling me because I had my eye on the motherfucking press. Um, long story short, uh, I ended up not fighting her because dude was like, "That's not gonna happen." Whoever the lady she was with called the police and had them escort them out. The police low key was looking for me, but um, I was already decked off in the car, laid down, so we didn't know where I was. Nobody was gonna tell them where I was. Um, but yeah, fast forward to the day I go to jail. Cool. So, we ended up not fighting that day. And then during the time, back, back, back to that. The day that I seen her and we did not fight, Shorty was on the internet capping, like, just talking crazy. And she did that often. Like, she even got into it with somebody else. And they like, why you want to fight me, but you don't want to fight her? And then she just, whole time Shorty had my number. She called me, like, where you at? I'm laid up with my girlfriend. Like, girl, what? I'm all the way two hours away. You call me? Like, go to hell, okay? But cause at this point, it was clear to me that this girl was never going to personally, like, pull up and link with me or nothing like that. So, I'm just like, whenever I see her, I see her. So, I was at that. At this point, I was at that with that. So, I just left the shit alone or whatever. And then, um, yeah, so I just left the shit alone or whatever. But this day, I seen her. And in my head, like, when I tell you, 
I'm gonna put my hands on you. I'm gonna put my hands on you. Like it's not no if, ands, or buts about it. If I say when I'm putting my hands on you, I'm putting my hands on you. And I'm like, this time, bitch, the opportunity not splitting, bitch. Um, Nisha's in the style. And the girl walk in, and she look at me like, what's up? And my this time she's bigger than the last time I saw her. So I'm looking, she's saying, what's up? Like on some she know me type shit. So I'm like, who the fuck is this girl? I'm like, what's up? And I look at her. I'm bitch, I'm finna beat your ass. That was my exact words when I realized who she was. Bitch, I'm finna beat your ass. So I hand, I have my lip gloss and my phone and my keys. And I hand all that shit to Niche. And she's like, what's this for? I said, babe, you finna be mad at me. I'm finna beat this bitch ass. And she's like, you ain't finna do shit. And she's standing in the corner. And she on the phone, bitch. I ain't give a fuck about nothing. I just ran up on her ass. We got the fight and shit. And I just feel like a, like a couple of swings in. Like, just a couple of swings in. I feel somebody in the back of my head hitting me. And I'm like, hold on. So I turn that shit around. Like, y'all got me fucked up. And I, um, and Nish come out the bathroom at the end. Because she in the bathroom using the bathroom. And then when she, after we fought and all that stuff happened. She like, I didn't even know what you said to me. I, just, I thought you was like finna go in the bathroom and pee. You know I was coming out, so you just handed me your stuff. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> she like, shit, I came outside and I seen that clearly. So, yeah. And at that time, you said when she came out and seen us fighting. At that time, after she said it was just the girls fighting like another girl or two other girls. I can't remember. She said that. It, it was either three girls or two, her and another girl. So, um, the bathroom attendant, like, although I seen you run up on her, um, because they jumped you, if they ask me anything, I'm gonna say they just jumped you, so you don't get put out the club or whatever. And she was like, girl, you look fine, they ain't do shit to you, here go your wig back. <laughs> she painted me my wig, like, here go your wig back, fix yourself up, I'll get you some spray, we'll have to be in. And at that, in my head, she was like, even though they jumped you, the girl you ran up on, you was doing your thing with her, they, they was jumping you, but you was doing your thing with her. So in my head, I'm like, girl, I did what I said, y'all jumped me, I knew it was coming. I will. Y'all jump me. Um, so in my head, it was like, to me, once I complete my mission, I'm not going to say we cool or we ever be friends, but once I complete my mission, baby, no press. It was never no press from the beginning. But if I see you, I don't even know you at this point. Like, so I, at that, that's been my man. That's where it was. And um, the lady like, y'all not going to get put out, so y'all just go out and enjoy the party. She sprayed me or whatever. Me and Nisha walking in the hallway. And it was kind of like I was a bully or something. Because you know how in the movies when, like, the little, like, you know, okay, let's just say, you like, you know, the little sister getting bullied on. So she going to get her big cousin, her big sister, something. That's why I feel like she did. Like, because <laughs> this girl, I ain't going to say she was, like, way bigger than me, but she was bigger than me. Like, it's like she went to go get someone to, like, be my quote unquote match <laughs> or whatever. So she went and got the girl, and all I heard was, there go that fat ass bitch right there. My phone was going back. I'm thinking I'm handing it to Nisha. I don't know who I handed my phone to, but I handed it back, and I just get the fighter. Um, As I'm fighting, you know, I like smaller girls. I like, you know, a little five, five petite, but a big butt. I like smaller girls. So Nisha's like right here under me, like uppercut bitches, like Mortal Kombat, just like uppercut bitches. And um, at this point, they had, I don't know who had, but somebody had rip, like had grabbed this, and I pulled back, and it ripped. My, I had like a spaghetti strap, little two piece on, and they ripped or whatever. And they snatched my wig. They did. They was doing a whole lot of hair pulling. They snatched my wig off, and then I had, you know, like I had a wig, so I had a braid in. And like they had my braids in the back, and like I'm not gonna. I think I can't remember if it was a boss fire if it got ripped. Either way it goes, it was like a little. It was something small. It was nothing major. Where like it was like a big problem for me. I mean, at the end of the day, like I still can't. You pulled my hair out, <laughs> but um, yeah. So that fight happened, and I'm not gonna lie, I I'm, I might have lost that that fight. I, I might have just got beat up. Like I might just got jumped. Like I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I might have. I'm not gonna lie. I might have just got like jumped. Like I'm not gonna lie. I might have got beat up. I'm not gonna lie because I had a knot. This was pulled, and I had scratches. Like I looked like I was in a fight. The first time I did not look like I was in a fight. Now we ain't got. Thor, I was I look like I got beat up, okay? <laughs> I ain't gonna hold y'all. I look like I got beat up and I was kinda pissed about that, okay? So we all get pushed out the club. Me and Nisha get into it with one of her friends in the club. I'm like, man, Nisha, fuck up. Come on. So we walking out the club. Um we walking out the club. I think one of them muffed me. I think they did, but I didn't pay it no mind because I saw her. 
fuck with me, but I ain't saying I'm mad because that's how I work. And this bitch was skipping with my wig, and that's all I seen was her skipping with my fucking wig. And I'm like, bitch, you got me fucked up. You're skipping with my wig, like swinging that bitch. And I just ran up on her ass again. Like, bitch, you got me fucked up. <laughs> like, don't walk around here swinging with my wig, bitch. Period. You no. Fuck no, fuck that. So I just ran up and we get to fighting again. And I get on top of her and all I hear is Nisha behind me like, beat her ass, baby, beat her ass. So, you know, that's hyping me up and I'm just like, ah, you can't beat up. <laughs> like, all that's going on. And then all I hear is move, babe, and it's Nish. And I'm thinking like a bitch finna run up and hit me. No, it's the police with the mace. And that's like, it hit my, where my scratches was first. That shit burnt so bad. And they went around, sprayed me in my face and then like sprayed her. Y'all. I've been in situations where they spray mace in the crowd before, but I've never been like shh in my face. That shit burns so bad. Um, yeah, and all I hear is you bitches are going to jail. Like that's what the police officer says, you bitches going to jail. <laughs> and I I'm asking, like, why are we going to jail? Why are we going to jail? The white police officer was not answering me, but the black police officer was like, um, y'all going to jail because y'all fighting the street. If y'all would have stayed in the club when they put y'all out and y'all just fought in the club and left it at that and just went home, y'all have been cool. But because y'all on the streets, y'all was on Marion County ground. So y'all going to jail for disorderly conduct or um, battery disorderly conduct, some other shit, a whole bunch of weird shit or whatever. And I'm just like, y'all, y'all do too much. Like y'all really trying to get y'all, y'all taxes. Y'all y'all trying to get y'all state some money. Like just let us go. And um, and my personal carry-on stuff, I had my ID, my car, and all this shit. So it wasn't online about my name or who I was. So they went through that, found out who I was, and ran my shit. And Shorty was not trying to tell her name. Bitch, I know how to spell your shit, but I snitched. I don't give a fuck what you call it, bitch. Her name is da da da. Period. <laughs> bitch. And yeah, um, her friends left her whole time. Like from the time the police had put us in cuffs and walked us over there. Um, Nisha was right there with, you know, um, some water, a towel, trying to take my braids down. Nisha's really my girl. Nisha's my girl. Okay. Because, like, I, for the situation being, like, I was not expecting Nisha to help me. I was, in my mind, I didn't care who she was with. I didn't care who I was with. Bitch, I told y'all to put my hands on you. Put my hands on you. Okay. And I was not expecting or thinking that Nisha was going to help me. I did not want her to help me. Like, but just because, like, that, she's just loyal. She's just real. Like, that's just her. She helped me or whatever when they was jumping me. And then I said when it was one-on-one, -on -one, she just, of course, let it be a one-on-one. -on -one. But, and then when, like, everything was going down, she was taking my braids down. And um, she tagged my shit up. So, uh, my titty wouldn't be hanging out because I had no bra on or no drawers on. <laughs> and, um, yeah. I think that, the, and then we, we ended up going to jail and um, they kept us separate. When they put us in the Peggy wagon, they put me on one side, put her on one side. They kept us separate in the jail. Like, we wasn't even in intake together. Yeah, that's the time I went to jail and I found out Nisha had hands. Like, that, short, that story was short and sweet. And I just thank God so much for growth because um, at this point in my life, it's like, you, people can't even bother me like that. Like, like bitch, on the internet, go, go to hell. Like, you can't. I was so fucking unknowing and un insecure of myself and a whole bunch of other shit back then. Bitch, the internet, bitch, fuck you. Okay, the negativity especially. Like, I mean, if you're positive, you bring in, you know, you bring in good vibes. We we could vibe it out. We were cool. But all that negativity, bitches be trying to argue. State your opinion, bitch. I don't care. Like, you can't bother me, sis. Like, my friend King used to say, I'm bothered as fuck. Daddy is just fucks. And that's facts. Because that's what it is but that's it for my story and if you won't smoke no niche coming behind me now i'm just playing <laughs> i don't even maneuver like that bitch i don't even maneuver like that no more i ain't fighting me so bitch if you that man take it up god because i ain't got nothing for you sis. <laughs> your man is. okay bye